In today's video, we're going to be making this sound. What's going on Rocket Parrot Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the serum tutorial. Now, first things first, we're going to be starting off with basic shapes as oscillator A. And we're going to be using oscillator A to run frequency modulation. So we're going to start off with a square waveform to run the FM. And now go ahead and turn on FM. Okay, perfect. Now we need to turn on oscillator B so we can actually run the FM from B. Perfect. All right, go ahead and turn the oscillator B onto a basic shape waveform again and put this on a sawtooth waveform instead. So we're. We also want to drop the level down to zero on oscillator B. That way, all the sound will be outputted through the FM from oscillator A. Now we're going to start our modulation process. Go ahead and take LFO1 here, and we're just going to go ahead and drop that onto the FM from B. Now, simply creating a shape just like this will do for today's video. Put this on trigger and also leave this on one half. That sounds like complete garbage. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our octave up to. Turn off the unison to 16 on oscillator A and oscillator B. So we're killing the CPU, but it's gonna be worth it. Wow. Drop the random phase down to 0%. That way, there is absolutely no room for all these 16 voices to be starting at different times. So that way, they're going to be starting at the exact same time, which makes that crazy rhythm sound. All right, now go ahead and turn on the detune to around 65% here. And then on oscillator B, turn it down to around, you know, 8%. Wow, that sounds sick. The sound sounds pretty cool, but we got to give it a little bit more movement. Go ahead and drop the level on oscillator A down to zero, and now turn on os or LFO2 onto the level, and we can go ahead and create some pretty cool modulations. I put this on a trigger, and I put this on one foot. <laughs> Perfect. Now we are starting to go somewhere. LFO3 now is going to uh, also be used. Go ahead and create a shape that's similar to this. Go ahead and put this onto the detune now. I know we're modulating the detune and that creates a completely cool like stretch effect. <laughs> Now you're probably wondering, now Shane, what about the filter? That's right, go ahead and turn on our filter, go into the miscellaneous section and grab the combs filter. Combs is perfect for adding in that extra metallic touch to any sound. Go ahead and turn up the resonance. And blast the drive. Perfect. We're moving to the effect section now. First effect on the list is going to be our phaser that's right we're going to be using the phaser as a guitar amp effect we're going to drop the rate down to zero as well as the depth and the frequency down to 20 hertz it sounds like it's processing through a guitar amp which sounds super cool and now we're going to eq it and give it a little bit more shape go ahead and turn on the the uh, low cut here so a high pass filter and we're going to go ahead and modulate the frequency using LFO number one. Oh yeah, now we're talking. That'll do, turn up the Q factor so we got some resonance on the sound. On to the next effect, we're gonna be turning on distortion. Distortion is gonna tube this bad boy up with some tube distortion, if you know what I'm saying. And here with the drive, we get we just add in a little bit more distortion. That's it, we're just crisping it up a little bit here. Now, filter. Filter is just gonna be our simple high pass. I know another high pass. Hear me out, guys. Well, I'm pointing you guys in a direction of success here. High pass is going to go down to like 15, or 15 hertz here. And modulate up to 45, 48 amounts, percents. Ooh, you guys can very slightly begin to hear this entire sound coming together. Turn up the resonance now. And that drive at around halfway. Now we're talking. Finally, put on the compressor. Turn on multiband. Turn up the gain. Oh yeah. 
Oh wait, but the tone doesn't sound just right on the sound. Let's go into the oscillator se selection here and go ahead and turn on sync for oscillator B. <laughs> Wow, that is a perfect tone, and that is exactly what we're going for. But it could be even better, so go ahead and turn on your OTT compressor. Um, I use X for OTT, it's a 100% free compressor, and this is the final sound. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that you liked today's video and you made it to the end here. And if you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. And guys, if you're new here, click that subscribe button for the best serum tutorials on YouTube. Now, without further ado, my name is Shane from My Compared Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.